back to my channel. My name is Jamie and this is Let's Talk About It. So today I am here with my first Bobby doll unboxing ever. Ever. I've never had a Bobby in my life. Like I said before, when I was younger I didn't really collect dolls or play with them. It was only in my adult years where I started to collect dolls and play with them. This is my first Bobby and let me show you which one I chose. Florence Nightingale. And I'm not gonna buy Florence Nightingale. Ugh, as soon as I seen her. I seen her creepy ass outfit. I just wanted to have her. If you don't know who Florence Nightingale is, she is a pioneer to modern day nursing. She also helped us form our sanitation system uh, that we use today. Um, they actually have a Nightingale pledge that is taken by um, nurses, like new nurses. In the Crimean War, I think it's the Crimean War, she used to go take care of the soldiers and she used to go by at night and check on them because like she never stopped working, I don't think. And she used to carry the lamp. So they used to call her the lady with the lamp. These soldiers must have really took comfort in her. I personally love nurses because I was taken care of by nurses when I was sick. So right away I wanted this nursing doll, right away. She wanted to do her mission. She knew she wanted to be a nurse. I don't think her parents wanted her to be a nurse, but she did it anyway. I think they were uh, socialites, her parents, or I think she came from wealth. She didn't even have to. She just wanted to help people. I really respect that about her and I just like want her doll in my collection. Well, yeah, this is the box it came in. This is her on the back. Let me open this up. Maybe we can see her better. Here we go. And this is her in the back. She looks like she's seen a lot in life. I attribute my success to this. I never gave or took any excuse. Wow. I never gave or took any excuse. That's such a cool saying. Uh, this is Barbie recognizes all female role models. The inspiring woman series pays tribute to incredible heroines of their time. Courageous women who took risks, changing rules, and paved the way for generations of girls to dream bigger than ever before. Florence Nightingale pursued a career in nursing, uh, a vocation she believed was her moral duty. Enrolling as a nursing student in 1850, Florence made it her mission to improve hospital hospital efficiency and standards in patient care. Carrying a lamp during her rounds in the Crimea War, Florence earned the title The Lady with the Lamp. Providing comfort and compassion to gravely wounded soldiers, eventually bedridden with a chronic illness, Nightingale refused to give up and use her training to write books that launch reforms in health care. In 1860, she established the Nightingale Training School, continuing to further nurses' education while changing the negative attitudes towards women entering the field. Throughout her life, Florence Nightingale continued to use her drive and intelligence to become the pioneer of modern nursing. Girls need more role models like Florence Nightingale because imagining they can be anything is just the beginning. Actually seeing that they can make all the difference. This is a cool doll. So let's get into it. All right, so I don't want to bust the box because I do want to keep this forever and ever, ever. Um, by the way, this doll was super affordable. I know a lot of the dolls I do on this channel are on the pricey end because I like collectors. And this is a collector's and it was like 20 something bucks. That's wicked cheap. I was like thrilled when I found out the price. I was like, yes, I need a cheap doll. Wow, super neat. Oh, so, got her out. This is her. Wow, she is so neat. Oh, wow, guys. So she's so pretty. And she's got, I guess she, I wouldn't even know this is a Bobby, just like by the way, she dropped a little lantern here. It doesn't seem like she's a Bobby, but she's Bobby. Uh, this was the hospital I think that she worked at. I think. But her shoes, guys. Let's take a nice look at her shoes. I truly loved these shoes. I'm hoping they fit my other dolls because I'm definitely going to let them borrow these. Even though they're not made out of real, like, it's plastic. I don't mind them. I think they're so cute. 
she's got her creepy dress on i say creepy but it's probably not creepy to some but i think it's kind of creepy I like creepy though that that works for me so let her walk around with her little bonnet she's got her bonnet on the back so cool and she comes with a stand in the box if you want to store her in the box it looks like an old-fashioned i think it's a hospital military hospital could be any hospital but it's a cool box to store her in if you don't like to take them out of the box I do like to take them out of the box, but I save the box in case I want to resell it or um, move it and I don't want to get hurt. But yeah, this is the Inspiring Woman series with my first Bobby ever. I don't know about you, but I think my first Bobby was a good pick. What do you think, guys, down below? Let me know what you think. I hope that um, you appreciate Florence Nightingale on all of her sanitation tips that she's given us today. She's probably taught us how to wash our hands and how not to put our hands on our face and stuff like that. I'm not sure of all of it. I actually kind of want to go read on her myself now because I didn't know that much about her. She's pretty cool. If you want one of these amazing dolls for yourself, I'm going to leave the link to her down below. She's super cheap. I don't know why any nurse wouldn't have this girl in her collection. So if you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.